In this video, we will define logical proposition as well as truth value. Then, we will make a distinction between simple or atomic and compound or molecular propositions. Let's begin. Let's review some sentences and let's try to determine if what each of them express is true or false. For example, consider the sentence Grass is green. This sentence is, of course, true. However, the sentence human blood is blue is, without a doubt, false. On the other hand, the sentence today is Thursday is true if today is indeed Thursday and is false if today is any other day of the week that is not Thursday. Notice that. While the sentence is sometimes true and sometimes false, there is not a day in which it is true and false at the same time. Now, the sentence that's tasty, when expressed with regard to any food, drink or candy, may be true for some people, while would be false for some others. That is, you could say that it is true and false at the same time, therefore you cannot determine its veracity. Finally, in the case of sentences, close the door and is it hot, it is impossible to establish whether they are true or false. In general, it is not possible to establish the veracity or falsity of interrogative, imperative or exclamatory sentences. We can give the following definition. We understand as logical proposition a sentence which is either true or false, but not both at the same time. Based on the definition, we can say that the sentences grass is green, human blood is blue, and today is Thursday, are logical propositions, while the sentences that's tasty, close the door, and is it hot, are not. In mathematics, it will be more common to write sentences using mathematical notation. Let's review some examples. The expression 5 plus 8 equals 13 is, of course, true. However, in the case of the expression 3t minus 2 equals minus 2t minus 17, we cannot say whether it is true or false while it is not determined what value represents t. Obviously, the expression 27 minus 45 equals 82 is false. On the other hand, the veracity or falseness of the expression x minus 2 squared plus y squared equals 25 cannot be established without first determining values for x and y. Similarly, the expression minus 17 is greater than or equal to minus the absolute value of 5w is neither true nor false until the value of w is fixed. Finally, the expression 12 is lesser than 25 is clearly true. According to the definition given before, the first, the third and the sixth of these expressions are logical propositions, while the second, the fourth and the fifth expressions are not. Now, you mustn't take for granted that any expression involving variables is not a proposition while the value of each variable is not determined, because this is not always the case. For example, consider the expression 0 is greater than or equal to minus the absolute value of 5m and assume that m represents a number. At first, it might seem that it is not possible to determine if the expression is true or false without knowing the value of m and, therefore, that it is not a logical proposition. But let's analyze this a little deeper. 
Since we assumed that m represents a number, we have three possibilities. That m is positive, that is, it is greater than zero, or that m is equal to zero, or that m is negative, that is, it is lesser than zero. If n is greater than zero, then 5m is greater than zero, and the absolute value of 5m is also greater than zero. Thus, minus the absolute value of 5m is lesser than zero. If m is equal to zero, then 5m is equal to zero, and the absolute value of 5m is also equal to zero. Thus, minus the absolute value of 5m is equal to zero too. If m is lesser than zero, then 5m is lesser than zero, and the absolute value of 5m is greater than zero. Thus, minus the absolute value of 5m is lesser than zero. As you can see, minus the absolute value of 5m is lesser than or equal to zero, no matter the value of m. Or, what is the same thing? Zero is greater than or equal to minus the absolute value of 5m regardless of the value of m. Hence, we can conclude that the expression zero is greater than or equal to minus the absolute value of 5m is true for all possible values of the number m. Therefore, it is a logical proposition. Very well, let's rewrite some of the propositions in the previous examples. You can use any symbol or letter followed by two points to name a logical proposition. However, in this site, unless otherwise specified, we will follow the convention of using lowercase letters beginning with the letter P. Of course, if in a particular situation the letter Z is reached and there are more propositions to name, you can continue with the letters A, B, C and so on, or use any other symbols or letters, for example Greek letters, to name the remaining propositions. Thus, we can name the propositions in our example with the letters P, Q, R, S and T respectively. The symbols or letters used to name logical propositions are called propositional variables. Ok, we have seen that, given a proposition, it can only be true or false. We'll define the truth value of a proposition denoted by an uppercase B followed by the symbol representing the proposition written between parentheses can be true, indicated by T, or false, indicated by F. The proposition P is true, then we say that P has a truth value of T. In the same way, we will say that the truth value of Q is S. R has a truth value of S. The truth value of S is T and T has a truth value of T. Alright, now we'll make the following definition. A simple or atomic proposition consists of only one sentence which is either true or false, but not both at the same time. According to this last definition, the propositions P, Q, R and S are simple or atomic propositions. However, the proposition T is not. Let us see why the proposition T is not a simple proposition. As we showed in a previous example, the proposition T has a truth value of T. Proposition T reads, 0 is greater than or equal to minus the absolute value of 5M. Now, consider the following propositions. 
u zero is greater than minus the absolute value of 5m and v zero is equal to minus the absolute value of 5m. You should note that proposition t is constructed with the propositions u and v joined by the word or, which is called a logical connective or simply a connective. Good, let's rewrite the propositions u, v, and t using mathematical notation. This way, the proposition t can be defined as u or v. Finally, the proposition u has a truth value of t if m is not equal to 0, and f if m is equal to 0. The truth value of proposition b, on the contrary, is f when m is not equal to 0, and t if m is equal to 0. And as we saw before, the truth value of t is always t, regardless of the value of m. We'll review one last example. Let's consider the proposition W, grass is green and human blood is blue. Clearly, the truth value of W is F. Now, let's define the propositions X, grass is green and Y, human blood is blue. The proposition W is constructed with the propositions X and Y joined by the word AND, which in this case is the connective. We can define W as X and Y. The truth value of X is T, while Y has a truth value of F, and the truth value of W is F. Note that a logical proposition constructed with two simple propositions joined by the connective OR has a truth value of F only if the truth value of both atomic propositions is F, otherwise its truth value is T, while the truth value of a logical proposition constructed with two atomic propositions joined by the connective AND is T only if both simple propositions have a truth value of T, otherwise its truth value is F. Connectives will be reviewed more in depth in the next topic within this lecture. For the time being, we'll state the following definition. A compound or molecular proposition is constructed with two or more simple propositions joined by connectives. Based on the previous definition, we'll say that the propositions T and W are compound or molecular propositions. To conclude, you should have noticed that in the previous discussion we have been using the terms proposition and logical proposition indistinctively. From now on, whenever we use the term proposition, unless stated otherwise, we'll understand that we are referring to a logical proposition.